Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Florida. Uh, today, right now, I'm on my way to the dealership. Um, as you guys know, or might not know, I buy and sell cars for a living, and I bought me a truck yesterday, so I'm on my way to pay for the truck so they can deliver it to me tomorrow. So, I'm gonna do that. I have a guy that's coming today to buy my wheels. Hopefully, this guy comes, comes through. He seems a bit more serious than the last guy that stood me up, but... Got that going on today. I got a photo shoot of my car going on just because there's a big event um, October 14th, which I'll explain more later. Um, and my car's gonna be on a poster, which is really cool. And then I might have some racing going on tonight. So pretty eventful day. Let's get to the dealership, get this car paid for, and we will proceed with the day. Hey, and we're back. So. I'm on my way to uh, take the tires to the guy that's uh, buying them for me. We are meeting at Walmart. As of right now, so far, so good. So, got my door open. This is a daredevil. I don't know about me. I drive with doors open. But anyway, meeting went good. I got my car paid for. Should be should be delivered tomorrow. But um, let's get to Walmart so I can drop off these tires. We're about to try to fit. <laughs> I'm like, please. You made it happen. It's crazy. Two in the back. See, two in the rear. Two in the trunk. All right, guys. So the wheels are officially sold. Thank the Lord. But as you guys saw, he fit. And I guess that, I mean, I guess it wasn't too impossible. He fit all four wheels in the Mustang. Two in the trunk. Two in the back seat. He folded the seats down. But anyway, wanted to give you guys a rundown of what I've done to my car just because... I've done a lot and I haven't done a lot and I don't I don't think I've mentioned it in the channel but I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of all the mods that I've done so let's get into that right now so I guess the most obvious would be the wheels um, the STR racing wheels 20 by 10 in the rear and 20 by 9 in the front I'm running 255 20 uh, yeah, 255 in the front and then 275s in the rear. You guys know I had a lot of issues with the rear tires. Um, I did have 305s, but because of fitment issues, I had to get 275s. I mean, it was to the point, probably can't tell, but it started to bend the back fender here. And I mean, let's see if I can get it, but the paint started chipping and there you go. You kind of see how it was raised there, but it was not a good situation but anyway i am running mickey thompson's all around i have not got a chance to test them at the track i might be able to do that tonight um i have the mmd v series rear spoiler got it off of american muscle it is pre-painted uh it wasn't difficult at all to put on it was just tedious it took some time but it was not hard to put on and then the car is lowered two inches on the Steeda Extreme Ultralights, I believe what it's what they are. Gives me a two inch drop all around. So pretty aggressive drop. Um, as you can see the front here tuck a little bit. Lighting might be a little tough. Shiny day here, bright day. But um, yeah, two inch drop all around. Cosmetically, that's all I've done. The car's pretty simple. Simple but clean. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the interior, but it has the brown leather interior, which is beautiful. And then as far as motor goes, I have not done anything yet. We'll see. 
that's around the corner but that's that's really all I've really done to the car um, cosmetically I do have another mod and I'll be recording that really soon it's really cool I mean I don't want to give too much away but it's a cool mod that'll be coming soon um, I got a lot of cool stuff coming for the channel I got some really cool cars on the review um, I don't want to give too much away I will say this though one of them has 400 wheel horsepower and weighs about 1500 pounds if that so it's gonna be insane insanely fast just to, for perspective for reference Mustang has 435 horsepower stock, weighs about 37, 3,800 pounds. So you can just imagine how, how of a beast this car is going to be. But that's coming soon. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a rundown of the car um, so you guys kind of see what it's looking like right now. And I am going to be going to the track later on today, so I'll record as much as I can, get footage there. So it's going to be fun. I might be able to put the Mickey T's to the test and see how well they grip even though they're 275s hopefully they do well it is prep track but anyway i'll see you guys there catch you in a little tunnel So it's the next day. I realized I didn't make an outro uh, for yesterday's video, but uh, the track it didn't go as I, as well as I thought it was gonna go. So the best time I ran, and it was eighth mile, was an eight six. Now the fastest I ran at that track has been an eight two, um, and then quarter mile the fastest I've done is a twelve seventy one, which isn't bad. I mean the car's fully stock. I, all I have is the Roush exhaust um, and H pipe. And then I'm lowered on the Steeda Ultralight Springs. But other than that, I'm fully stock. So I'm not sure why I did so horrible yesterday. Um, I don't know how the track wasn't prepped as well. Um, everybody was having traction issues. So I'm, I'm gonna blame it on that. So let's just go with that one. Uh, as you guys saw I raced that Camaro, the white Camaro. And that Camaro had was 2014. <clears throat> um, had bolt-ons and a tune so it beat me off the line but I dragged him down and I won it's pretty cool because like I said I'm stock and he had a tune and bolt on so not too bad and then as you guys saw I saw the wheels I uh, sold the wheels so it's a good day good eventful day so you guys stick around like I said I have really cool content coming along some really cool cars to review so uh, stick around see you guys in the next one and be great.